Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into an intricate and fascinating journey through history, science, and genetics, the story of Korea's origins within the broader context of East Asia. While many East Asian populations have been studied for their genetic diversity, Korea stands out as a unique case, shaped by ancient migrations, environmental changes, and cultural exchanges. Situated at the confluence of powerful neighbors like China, Japan, and Russia, Korea's genetic history offers a window into the wider migrations that shaped not just the Korean peninsula, but the entire East Asian region. In this video, we'll explore how Korea's genetic identity developed over millennia and how it compares to other East Asian populations. From the earliest migration patterns to the spread of agriculture and beyond, Korea's genetic makeup reflects a story of complexity, diversity, and resilience. Join us as we explore the evolutionary history of Korea and East Asia's populations and uncover what makes this part of the world so captivating. Let's get started. To fully grasp Korea's genetic origins, we must first look at how early humans migrated into East Asia. Two primary theories dominate scientific thought on the subject, both offering different explanations for the movements of ancient peoples and their eventual settlement across the region. The first theory suggests a simpler narrative of migration, where ancient humans moved from Southeast Asia and traveled northward, gradually spreading out into East Asia. According to this model, the southern populations were the first to enter East Asia, and from there, they slowly moved north, carrying with them their genetic markers, languages, and cultures. This south-to-north migration is supported by genetic evidence that links some East Asian populations, including those from southern China and Vietnam, with Southeast Asian genetic markers. However, the second theory offers a more intricate perspective on these early migrations. It proposes that ancient humans entered East Asia from multiple directions, not just from the south, but also from the west, via Central Asia. According to this model, East Asia's genetic diversity can be traced to these two distinct waves of migration, one from Southeast Asia and the other through Central Asia. As these groups intermingled and spread across the region, they left a complex genetic footprint, which is still visible in modern populations today. This dual migration theory helps explain the genetic variation observed between different East Asian populations and is particularly relevant when examining Korea's genetic history. The genetic history of Korea is intertwined with that of Northern Asia, where early settlers likely originated. Archaeological and historical evidence points to a connection between the Korean people and groups from Siberia, Mongolia, and the surrounding regions. Specifically, early Koreans are thought to be related to groups from the Alai Mountains and the area around Lake Baikal in Siberia. According to traditional Korean beliefs, the first Korean state, known as Ancient Chosen, was established around 2,333 B.C. It initially took root in southern Manchuria, but over time, it shifted its political and cultural center to the Pyongyang area. This historical migration from Manchuria to the Korean peninsula mirrors genetic patterns that suggest a strong link between Koreans and northern East Asian populations like the Mongolians and Manchurians. The relationship between early Koreans and northern Asian groups is further supported by genetic studies that show a significant overlap in mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, and Y-chromosome haplogroups between these populations. The most common mtDNA haplogroup found in Koreans is D4, a genetic marker that is widespread across northern East Asia. This haplogroup, which appears in nearly a quarter of the Korean population, links Koreans to their northern neighbors reinforcing the theory that Korea's early settlers came from the north. While Korea's genetic history is strongly tied to northern East Asia, it's important to recognize the influence of southern East Asian populations as well. One of the most significant ways this influence manifested was through the spread of agriculture, particularly rice farming. Around 1000 to 2000 BC, rice cultivation spread from China's Yellow and Yangtze River basins to the Korean Peninsula. Archaeological evidence suggests that early Koreans adopted rice farming techniques from their neighbors to the west, particularly from northern Chinese populations. But with the introduction of agriculture came new waves of migration, particularly from southern populations who brought not just farming techniques, but also their genes. These migrations left a noticeable imprint on Korea's genetic makeup, 
especially in maternal lineages. Haplogroups like M7, F, and B, which are commonly found in Southern East Asian populations, appear in the genetic profiles of modern Koreans, indicating a Southern contribution to the Korean gene pool. In fact, researchers estimate that over 30% of the Korean maternal gene pool has Southern origins, suggesting that Korea's genetic history is far more complex than just a simple North to South migration. To better understand the genetic origins of Korea and other East Asian populations, scientists have turned to advanced genetic analysis techniques, focusing on both mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, and Y chromosome markers. These genetic tools allow researchers to trace ancestry along both the maternal and paternal lines, providing a more detailed picture of how populations moved and intermingled over time. Mitochondrial DNA is passed down exclusively through the maternal line, making it a powerful tool for tracking female ancestry. Meanwhile, the Y chromosome is inherited from father to son, offering insights into male ancestry. By comparing these two types of genetic markers across different East Asian populations, scientists have been able to map out the migration routes and genetic mixing that shaped the region. Recent studies have examined mtDNA sequences from 445 individuals across seven East Asian populations, including Korea. These studies have also incorporated data from over 9,000 previous samples, allowing scientists to identify patterns and similarities between different populations. What they found is that while Koreans share strong genetic ties with northern East Asian populations like the Manchurians, Mongolians, and northern Chinese, they also exhibit genetic markers from southern populations. One of the most striking findings of these studies is the prevalence of the mtDNA haplogroup D4 in Koreans. This haplogroup, which is common in northern East Asia, appears in nearly 24% of the Korean population. Other haplogroups, like A and G, are also prevalent in Koreans and are associated with populations from Northeast Asia and Siberia. However, Koreans also carry southern haplogroups, such as M7 and B, which account for over 30% of the Korean maternal gene pool. When it comes to Y chromosome analysis, the story becomes even more intriguing. The Y chromosome data reveals that Koreans share genetic lineages with both northern and southern East Asians. This suggests that while Korea's genetic roots lie primarily in the north, there was a significant male-biased migration from southern populations into Korea, likely linked to the spread of agriculture. Haplogroups like O, M122, which is common in southern East Asia, appear in over 40% of the Korean Y chromosome pool, indicating a strong southern contribution to Korea's paternal ancestry. One of the most fascinating aspects of Korea's genetic history is the phenomenon of sex bias migration. This occurs when more men than women, or vice versa, migrate during specific historical periods, leaving a disproportionate genetic impact on the population. In Korea's case, genetic data suggests that there was a larger male contribution from Southern East Asia compared to the female line. This pattern is most evident in the Y chromosome data, which shows a stronger Southern influence than the mtDNA data. Researchers believe that this male-biased migration is linked to the spread of rice farming, which brought an influx of male settlers from southern East Asia into Korea. This phenomenon is not unique to Korea. Similar patterns of sex-biased migration have been observed in other parts of the world, such as the spread of Banta-speaking farmers in Africa and the post-Columbian settlement of the Americas. In Korea's case, the male-biased migration from southern populations likely played a key role in shaping the genetic diversity of the Korean people, adding yet another layer of complexity to their genetic history. Korea's genetic history cannot be examined in isolation, as its geographic proximity to Japan has led to centuries of migration and cultural exchange between the two countries. Genetic studies have shown that while Koreans and Japanese people share common ancestral roots, their genetic makeup has diverged over time due to differences in migration patterns, environmental factors, and historical events. One of the most significant migrations that shaped both Korean and Japanese populations occurred around 2,300 years ago when the Yayoi people migrated from the Korean peninsula to Japan. The Yayoi brought with them advanced agricultural techniques, including rice farming, which significantly influenced the genetic and cultural development of Japan. This migration created strong genetic ties between Koreans and Japanese, 
as seen in the shared haplogroups found in both populations. However, despite these shared roots, the genetic makeup of the Japanese population has been shaped by additional factors, including the relative isolation of the Japanese archipelago. This isolation has led to more pronounced genetic drift in the Japanese population, resulting in unique haplogroups like N9b and M7b, which are less common in Koreans. In conclusion, the genetic history of Korea is a rich and complex tapestry woven from millennia of migrations, cultural exchanges, and environmental changes. From early settlers in northern Asia to the spread of rice farming from southern populations, Korea's genetic makeup reflects both its connections to Northern East Asia and the lasting influence of Southern East Asians. By examining mitochondrial DNA and Y-chromosome data, scientists have uncovered 